Feast your eyes on the Cowan E7s. With over 7,000 mostly five-star reviews on Amazon, I was very curious to get my hands on these popular headphones. Before they arrived, I read a lot about them and watched a bunch of product reviews. My first thoughts upon arrival is that the actual headphone box, though sturdy, is quite small, especially compared to other headphones I've purchased in the past. I wondered why I never heard of the Cowan brand before, and that's because it's a Chinese company, indicated by a good amount of Chinese characters written on the back of the box. The E7s come in three colors, black, white, and red. The headphones have a stylish design, and I'm happy to say that for the price, the overall quality has exceeded my expectations. What excites me the most about these headphones is the Bluetooth wireless technology. I own a lot of headphones, and these are the first ones that can actually pair with a device. Another interesting feature is the ability to block outside sounds by enabling noise cancellation. I will be conducting a sound test later in this video that demonstrates the sonic differences between both settings. These are my second noise cancelling headphones and I was curious to compare them to my Audio-Technica QuietPoint ATH ANC 7s, which cost at the time of purchase over $100 more than the E7s. The results were surprising. With that being said, let me give you an up close and personal tour of the Cowan E7s. All right, here it is, the Cowan E7s. Let's take a look. Right off the bat, the box does open up like an Apple product, kind of like an iPhone, the suction feel. And we have this nice pseudo leather case. Okay, nice big pouch, some drawstring. And manual which is printed in a bunch of different languages. Here is the English side. Okay. And boom. So we have this wire, which is eighth inch, and also on the other end is eighth inch as well. So a regular eighth inch to eighth inch wire that plugs in to the bottom of the headphone and then into your device. And then also this is the USB charging wire. And last but not least, the actual headphones themselves. And I gotta say, they, they feel really cool. They feel, they feel like they're a quality headphone that's worth more than the cost of what I bought them for. I would say that you know, if I was uh, maybe pricing these myself as a reseller, maybe I would think that these are worth maybe like uh, somewhere around like 90 or or $100. So it's definitely a value in terms of, you know, just the look and the feel. When I put these on my head earlier, this is not the first time I'm opening up the box, I really loved how they kind of felt on my head the... The side pads stick to the side of your head really well and kind of like, you know, make a little cover for your ear so that your ear goes perfectly inside this spot right here. And it does sound soundproof in a way. So the movement, as you can see, is not a full rotation, but more like a half rotation on each air. So you can lay them down flat. That's kind of a cool way to rest them. Here they are up like that. And of course, if you got a big head, <laughs> there you go. So, and I gotta say this silver, shiny silver is kind of cool. It does uh, pick up fingerprints, but it's cool to just kind of like make everything nice and clean again just by brushing it to the side like that. And all of the plastic actually does the same, same thing. So it's got that kind of touch. You see that the outside of the cans are symmetrical on the side that has the writing of the company logo this is the active button okay this side over here this triangle doesn't do anything it's just a stationary triangle that's for the look and the symmetry of the headphones okay but this is the button that gets all the action all right now if we take a look underneath 
on the side that has the, the company logo, you have the eighth inch input if you want to go with the wire, if you're connecting to a device that does not have Bluetooth, okay, there you go. And right next to it here, if you can see really, really small, is a microphone wire, which means that you can actually talk on the phone with these headphones, so that's really cool. Over here, we have the on-off switch and the settings, there's actually three settings. Right now, it's currently set to off. Next to it, it says BT for Bluetooth, and then all the way to the right is NC for noise cancellation, okay? I'm just gonna turn this on to the Bluetooth mode right now, and if you can listen, I don't know if it'll pick up in the, the microphone, but it makes this little arpeggio noise. Okay, okay, on this side, the side that has the button that's just stationary, this is the side that you actually plug the USB charger into, like so. Boom, okay? And now, there's a little dot here that will indicate when you plug it in. All right, so like I said, these feel pretty well constructed. The headband is comfortable. It's uh, it's pretty durable. It stretches. They feel sturdy, and like uh, you don't have to be too gentle with them. Although you know you don't want to throw them across the room, but at the same time, they don't feel like there's something that would just easily break. So that's that's a really good thing. Right now, let's take a, a look and notice that currently there is a flashing blue light. Okay, this is going to be your pairing button. Even though it's one triangle, depending on what corner that you touch, activates different things. So up in the right-hand corner, there's a minus sign. And if you push and hold, well, let's pair it up first. So to pair the headphone, you're going to activate your Bluetooth setting on your phone. And of course, it recognizes the E7s. And... Connected <laughs> this is that simple and you realize that once it's connected this light is now a solid light Okay, now all right, so let's go to Spotify real quick and If you touch the upper right hand triangle and hold it That decreases the volume and vice versa if you hold the plus which is on the lower side of the triangle the volume increases uh, one touch to the top I have to show you this in playlist mode but if, let's just say for instance you're in the middle of the, the album and you want to go back a track that takes you to the beginning of the song and boom okay so you can skip through tracks if you want to go forward just hit the down arrow so you can you know do this all basically your phone can be up to about 10 meters so figure about 30 feet roughly away from the phone and have access to be able to skip tracks turn the volume up and down as well as pause and resume play all from these buttons it also allows you to answer the phone if the phone rings and you're paired all you got to do is hit the light one time to answer and then to hang up the call you hit the light side of the button again and that'll hang up the call another thing that I wanted to mention is that I was curious to know if you plug the wire directly into the headphone and then to the device if it would make the headphone sound different thankfully actually this is not a factor the sound is not bigger or have any more power either way so know that you're gonna get a full signal simply by using the the Bluetooth so unless the device is is kind of like on the older side and doesn't have a parable setting you don't need to use this wire at all which is really awesome now I do have some audio technica noise canceling headphones that I bought a bunch of years ago and um, they definitely don't have the Bluetooth technology and you need to have a battery inside so you know straight out the gate I like the E7s better because of those two options also these were about a hundred fifty dollars more expensive at the time that I bought them 
than these headphones. So I'm expecting for the sound quality to be better on these, even though I like the look of the E7s, you know, way better. They look cooler. These are also, they don't feel as comfortable. These kind of feel more brittle and harder. It's a harder plastic and they're not as comfortable. And actually your ear doesn't fit around them as well as these. So, so far in every single aspect against a pair of headphones that costs way more money, the E7s still are the winner. So I just got done doing an AB comparison. Who do you think won? I was really thinking in the back of my mind and I was hoping that since I spent so much <laughs> more money on this pair of headphones that I would prefer the sound quality on this over the E7s. But I gotta say, still, the winner in my opinion are the E7s. There's a little bit more detail in the high end in terms of clarity, but the low end is really not that good. Now, in terms of sound quality on the E7s, there's, I, I feel like the low end is just really, really boomy and it's not contained or tight at all. But, and then also the mids and the highs, they're kind of like, ah, eh, whatever. For the price, I, you know, it sounds good for the price, but definitely if you're comparing them to high end monitor headphones, it just kind of lacks a little bit of that luster and sparkle that, you know, I wish I, wish I would hear. But all that being said, in terms of which headphone I would pick, you know, strictly on a sonic level, I'm still gonna have to go with the E7s. There's one more thing that I wanna mention in terms of the sound qualities of the E7. You know, since you have two different options, you know, having the headphones play without the noise cancellation and then with the noise cancellation, I gotta say that the sound actually improves with the noise cancellation turned on. So regardless of if you're trying to eliminate outside noise or not, I think it's a good idea to always have this uh, switch turned all the way to the right. All right, it's time for the sound test. I'm gonna start the song with noise cancellation and off position. And as the song plays, I'll switch back and forth so you can hear the difference. Well, after reviewing the audio recording, I can promise you that they sound much better in person and that there is a difference between the two settings, strongly favoring having noise cancellation enabled. The actual sound quality of these headphones are colorful and fun, but lack definition in all ranges, especially the bass. There is bass, but it's quite boomy and not contained very well. The mids and highs are also not as brilliant as I'd like, but sound pretty good for the price. Whether or not this is a good buy depends on what kind of listening you plan on doing. If you're looking to purchase them to block outside sound and listen for recreational purposes, then I definitely think these are a good buy. But if you really need sonic clarity and plan on using these headphones for music production, it's going to be difficult to make accurate mixing decisions. Another downside, though minor, is that the headphones do not automatically turn off when not in use, and I've mistakenly left them on many times. To compensate for this, it's nice to know that the battery life is really good and had a decent amount of charge from the moment I opened the box. <laughs> 